Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Infinity and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course the law of attraction. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a collective reading and energy update. So it's been a while since I've done a deep dive of the divine feminine and divine masculine's energies. So I'm going to go ahead and begin the reading by doing a deep level energy look at what is happening in the energetic field of the collective divine feminine. Now, keep in mind when I use these labels, divine feminine and divine masculine, these are labels to describe energy. So these could apply to your internal masculine or feminine essence because we all do have a balance of both. Equally, these messages might apply to an external person, situation, connection, environment, etc. Also, I do channel many different people, situations, and connections throughout the readings, so always only take what resonates with you personally and intuitively. I'm starting today by shuffling the Star Seed Oracle cards. So what do the Divine Feminines listening to this channel need to know at this time? For some reason, I keep getting the word independent as if some Divine Feminine here is really stepping into their independence energetically, emotionally, becoming very self-reliant, self-sufficient, and this plays into... The two cards to come out first from the Starseed Oracle, which are called Soul Gifts and Training, it's time to step up. And Baby Steps, Action, Follow Your Intuition Before It Makes Sense. With these two cards coming out right away, I see that in developing this spiritual, emotional, and mental independence, the Divine Feminine is being called closer into her true core soul gifts. So I'm hearing changing. So for some divine feminines, it may even be that you feel as though some of what you desire to do on a daily basis is evolving. It is changing as you energetically expand and evolve through this ascension process. With the card baby steps, I'm hearing that the greatest potential roadblock or obstacle right now is the feeling of bigness of it all and feeling overwhelmed by the grander vision to the point where you might not take action in the moment. So I feel someone's guides reminding them that this whole process is one step at a time to continue listening to that intuitive guidance and taking that next step forward even if that particular step in the moment appears to be small it's all working together in this grander vision so what else can i channel here the angel of love came out at the bottom of the deck the Divine Feminine is very much becoming magnetic with love at this time. And I'm hearing love is what is expanding your energy. So for some of you specifically, this is a pretty specific message. But for some Divine Feminines, there may actually be love or romantic situations in your life that have been divinely placed in your life in order to expand you in very particular ways. And those particular love or romantic situations may feel very confusing at times to the human ego self, but the reason that they have entered or are in your life is for the purpose of actually expanding you in a really profound way at the energetic level. Now, right as I was talking about how love is expanding you and how you are becoming 
very magnetized with that unconditional love energy. We pulled the card appreciation, which is my card for deep self reconnection, self love, self appreciation with the world card in the upright position. This card to me is really representative of soul expansion, which is very synchronistic because that's so interrelated to how we've been discussing the way in which your energetic essence is expanding at this time through love. So this could be love situations in your life, but this also could be through you learning to fully love yourself, to really deeply reconnect with your inner self. I do also keep picking up this slight feeling of loneliness in some of this journey here, in some of this independence coming through here. What can I channel for someone who's been feeling some of this loneliness? Journey in the reverse position. I'm hearing the more you come home to yourself, the more you will continuously attract in those who are similar to you at that deeper energetic level. But this is, again, a process. There is typically a buffer of time between when we shift our energy in a certain way and when our physical reality begins to follow suit and shift as a result. And I'm picking up that for someone listening here. You may be in the middle of that manifestational buffer of time when it comes to attracting a new social environment or new people into your life. For many of you, I'm feeling this could be platonic even in nature. For others of you, this may relate in romance as well, but I'm just picking up that it's like you have entirely changed your inner world. You've really begun to come into that authentic frequency, but it's almost like you're holding that frequency and allowing those who are similar to you to enter your life. But again, there's this loneliness as there may be a kind of waiting period where you have become more authentic you are really coming into your own here, but you may not yet be fully attracting in those who are similar to you at a soul level. In spite of the fact that I do get this slight sense of loneliness here, there's also a very powerful energy that you're coming into divine feminine because here we have cornucopia in the upright position. And I'm picking up with the indecision card that your powerful manifestational energy at this time is actually presenting you with options or decisions that are entering your life. I'm hearing as you increase in that magnetism, you're attracting in or going to be attracting in all kinds of different things in your life. And this is going to lead to options and opportunities that are going to be these choice points, so to speak. This could be in work. This might be attracting in different offers related to your finances or your work. This also could be romantic offers. And of course, this could be related to social things as well. So take this how or if it resonates with you personally, but I do want to channel more into this energy of choices and options. You coming into this powerful manifestational space. What are these choices or options coming through here? Okay. A card just flew out from the traditional tarot. Okay. This is the three of wands card. So for some of you, these could be opportunities related to moving or travel something related to your freedom as well, but specifically freedom of physical environment. So again, this could be traveling, this could be a move, whatever this is, these specific options seem to relate to reinforcing your ability to be free, which I'm getting freedom is a major core value of many divine feminines coming in here. 
This also could be because in your early life, you experienced quite a bit of control or restriction from people around you. So for a divine feminine here, you may have been raised in an environment, a social environment, a family environment, a school system, a societal environment that really restricted your freedom either mentally or emotionally or even physically in some way. And for whoever I'm speaking to here, as a result of that, freedom has developed into really one of your core values in this lifetime. And I'm picking up that as you've developed this greater sense of independence and self-confidence, you really are no longer willing to compromise on this sense of freedom. With the seven of wands upright, this is really the energy of holding your own, standing up for yourself in some way. Standing your ground is really the essence of this card. And what I'm getting here is that another potential opportunity coming in for divine feminines is the opportunity to courageously continue holding your own in the presence of others who may be or might think very differently from you. So I'm hearing vulnerable. Someone might be feeling a bit raw or a bit vulnerable at times as I'm hearing sticking out like a sore thumb. You might feel like you're really standing out because of how you view the world, because of well, really at a deeper level, it's really because of the way in which you have a very evolved soul, a very evolved mindset and perspective because of both the fact that you are very much an old soul, you've lived many lifetimes, but also in this lifetime, you've gone through a very conscious awakening. And at this time, for some reason, I keep getting the energy of people whispering or talking. You might be feeling as though you are drawing attention because of how you see the world differently. And this at times could cause you to feel in a little bit of a hermit mode with the hermit card. The number nine or 999 might be coming up for someone here. But the number nine also relates to being like right on the brink of something very powerful. And that's where I almost feel you being at this time, Divine Feminine, in this space where you might be feeling that hermit energy, that loneliness at times, feeling like you're standing out, but also that you've now developed this really deep confidence that is allowing you to hold your own. With the moon card as well, you are very deeply connected with your intuition. And I'm going to be channeling more on that because I do feel like there's more there. I feel that some of your intuitive abilities or at the least your ability to empath the emotions and the energies of people around you may have actually brought up some anxieties recently. So if you felt certain anxious feelings that seemed as though they were coming completely out of nowhere, this may actually be related to the fact that you are having a heightened sense of, I'm hearing energetic telepathy. It's like the channels are wide open between you and other people and you're picking up a lot of these energies either around you or collectively that could be translating into feelings of anxiety that don't seem to really have a cause. Now, I have to say, as I'm reading into your energy, Divine Feminine, I am picking up this Knight of Pentacles. So whenever I start to pick up a sort of masculine energy that feels almost as though it's kind of trying to assert itself into your experience, I make a note in the reading that this might be a particular masculine externally in your life who is thinking about you or wanting to connect with you. So I am going to be channeling more into that now before we get into more divine masculine energy messages. But I also do want to say that if you would like more information as a divine feminine on potentially what is happening in your energy field at this time 
any other messages that you might need to know about this current point in your soul's evolution in this lifetime, I will be channeling more on all of that in the extended Patreon reading, as well as messages from your spirit guides, your higher self, or whatever divine forces you personally connect with. So those additional messages are on Patreon and I do these main channel collective readings every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday here on YouTube at 12 p.m., but every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I also channel an extended version of those readings on Patreon. So again, the link to that extended reading, if you do feel guided to it, is in the pinned comment and description box under the video. But for now, I'm going to be channeling into this knight of pentacles this masculine energy that seems to be coming up here so i'm going to be reshuffling some of the cards this is right away the energy of someone holding their ground but also possibly holding their distance from you Someone who has a lot of patience or perseverance when it comes to your connection. I'm getting that this person entering or re-entering your life may be unexpected. In fact, even me channeling into their energy, you may not know right away who this person is because there's this unexpected kind of feeling coming up here. So who is this person that is very unexpectedly perseverant here so this may be a connection from your past something that has possibly seemed restricted or limited in some way possibly by external circumstances that may have seemed beyond your control it feels like there hasn't been a lot of movement between the two of you recently I have to say, for some of you, I mean, this could be someone new, but for most people listening, this is going to be someone from your past. Someone that things have felt at a standstill with. I'm not sure why I'm getting that word standstill. Okay, so to clarify the standstill, we have Page of Cups reversed and also the Six of Pentacles reversed. So things might be at a standstill here because with the Page of Cups reversed, I'm getting the energy of someone who's gone very far away from who they really are at the authentic level. For some reason, I keep seeing like them as their child self being very much authentically who they are at a soul level. But then as they grow up, losing that true deeper identity that's what i'm getting about this masculine it's almost like issues that arose in their life or problems they faced or people they encountered influenced them away from who they really are at a core level because i feel this is a very sensitive soul whoever this masculine is they are very sensitive they have a lot of love to give there is a really pure quality to their spirit and I feel as though that is something that you divine feminine have seen within this person but they're holding back with the six of pentacles reversed I'm getting someone who is holding back and again I feel that holding back is because of this influencing away from who they really are that has happened throughout the course of their lifetime I'm getting something about religion. Someone could be very religious here or come from a religious background. What else can I channel about how this masculine energy is feeling towards divine feminine? So here we have the three of wands upright. So this masculine energy towards you, divine feminine, seems to be wanting to plan forward into the future i'm hearing wanting to include you in their plans if there's a physical or geographical distance between you i also see this potentially being wanting to travel to see you or travel to reconnect in some way
It's interesting because right as I was sharing about that, a ton of cards came out from the deck, which tells me whenever this person, this masculine begins to think of you, it's like they are pummeled with all of these chaotic thoughts and emotions that they don't really know how to process. Now, even in the reading, it's a bit much, but we are going to be reading into these many cards that just came out here. So first of all, we have the Four of Cups. So I see that, again, things may have been very stagnant between you and this person. There's the energy of daydreaming, of someone fantasizing here. It's almost like you are this masculine's daydream more than you are their reality right now, which again tells me there may be some kind of a disconnect here, but they seem to fantasize or daydream about you a lot. Now with the Page of Swords reversed and the Hierophant, I'm feeling as though this person is being controlled or was controlled by something, whether it was a person in their life who was very rigid, very strict, a tradition, a belief system, a culture. It feels like something in their life has controlled them to the point where they reach this 10 of wands reversed energy where they almost felt powerless, like resigned to their circumstances resigned to their fate and yet you divine feminine have been their daydreams so this could be a relationship they feel stuck in this could be again a belief system something that creates a potential separation or obstacle between the two of you i feel that recently however with the hermit card and the two of coins there's been a shift within this person. And again, this might be very unexpected. This shift has been that through some form of isolation, whether that's physical or emotional, they have been in this hermit mode that has actually been divinely orchestrated in their life that has led them to do a lot of soul searching, to do a lot of a lot of uncovering within themselves how they really feel and a lot of what has come through for them is the truth about their feelings for you, Divine Feminine, and this desire to bring things into balance between the two of you with the two of coins upright, this desire to come together in some kind of a new way. I'm getting all of that from this person's energy. Now, in the extended version of the reading, I will be channeling more into this specific masculine. Specifically, I want to channel some love messages from them to you and also some potentials on how this situation could move forward into the future. So the link to those extended messages is, of course, in the pinned comment and description box under this video. But for now, I want to see what other energies are connected to you, Divine Feminine, since much of this reading has seemed to really center around the Divine Feminine. You are solidifying your path with adjacent possibilities in the reverse position. I'm hearing collapsing old timelines. It's interesting. I've been receiving a lot of downloads about time and how throughout our ascension process, the nature of time is changing because we always say time really doesn't exist at the level of energy. And this is because as we energetically shift into higher dimensions, such as how we are collectively shifting from the third dimension to the fifth dimension, we it's almost like taking a bird's eye view of all timelines all time and being able to see it from one perspective as opposed to 3d is kind of like being on the ground and only being able to see what's right around you that is linear time 5D is more like being in an airplane and being able to see the whole landscape, which in this metaphor represents all the different timeline potentials. Now, of course, most of us aren't able to necessarily perceive all of these timeline potentials in a super conscious way, 
but more so in a subconscious way. And we read into these timelines through our intuition. Some even refer to this as a part of reading into the Akashic records that invisible library of information that is stored around us all the time. And I just feel as though someone is using their intuition to guide them into a particular very high vibrational timeline and in the past it may have felt as though things were very convoluted or confusing you may still be feeling some of that but i also feel as though something is beginning to solidify itself or a certain path soon will be more so solidifying and unfolding itself representing this very high vibrational timeline that you are coming into close alignment with so what does this very high vibrational timeline hold for divine feminine yeah there's been a lot of stuck energy in the past i do feel that shifting with indecision and all tied up how is this energy shifting through going within instead of making the choices externally so it's almost like a divine feminine here is focusing fully on themselves shifting their own energy embodying the energy of what they desire to attract and i'm hearing that is what is moving the energy of this situation that is shifting you out of this space that has felt very stuck if you're still in the process of this keep going because and when i say keep going of course i really mean keep focusing on the inner journey on that internal energy that you are embodying the energy of what you want to create attract manifest in your life that will align your personal frequency with the energy of that desired timeline and essentially merge you into it kind of like someone merging into the freeway but it's an internal journey that then begins to reflect externally and that's a really powerful message i'm getting here as well I know we get this card all the time on your energy, but we have strategy reversed. I'm also seeing a lot of the numbers 12, 21. This number speaks to, I'm hearing releasing this sense of overwhelm coming with feeling as though things have to be mapped out perfectly or planned out in advance. This is a constant journey, particularly for the divine feminines, because of course we are so deeply trained by society to be so obsessive with mapping out and planning out exactly how our lives are going to unfold, how we're going to reach specific goals. But in these higher dimensions we're shifting into, it's really about trusting that in the moment guidance and taking those baby steps as the starseed oracle so eloquently gave us at the beginning of the reading so in the extended version of the reading i will be channeling more into your aura divine feminine specifically who and what might be energetically connected to you at this time how you might be experiencing that within your own mind or your own emotional body and of course we will be channeling any other pieces of information that want to come through that reading so the link to that is in the pinned comment and description box under the video but for now i'm going to be pulling one final roomy oracle card to close this first reading here on youtube this card is the all-encompassing hand and i'm just going to read a guidebook message here you are the essence of my existence who am i a mirror in your hand whatever you do i will do i am your irresistible reflection with every breath, I feel my heart is beating with yours. In your joy, I am exuberant. In your sadness, I am in sorrow. If you are bitter, I become bitter. If you are grace, I become grace. My joy is when I am bewildered in your beauty and taste the sweetness of love on your lips. 
If I pick a rose without you, it becomes a thorn in my hand. If I am the thorn, I become the rose in your hand, Rumi. And the guidebook also says, This oracle comes to you as the hand of the divine. It is the all-encompassing hand, the hand that has no limitation upon the blessings it can bestow, upon the troubles it can lift from you, upon the tenderness it can communicate to you through sacred touch. Perhaps you are in need of reassurance, dearest one. Perhaps you have been feeling somewhat alone on your path or struggling with a matter deep within your precious, beautiful heart and speaking of it to no one, such loneliness that can foster in the heart. With no other to bear witness to your life experience, you may question your life, your sanity, your truths, and create doubt where no doubt need be. This must stop now. You are worthy of so much more, and this suffering is not essential for your growth now. It is time to let it be and to open up to the touch of grace. So that feels like a beautiful place to close the reading. Again, I will be heading over to Patreon now. So if you would like to join me in that extended reading, the link to that is under the video. Of course, I invite you to subscribe if my energy resonates with you. Join our beautiful community of like-minded, conscious, creative beings here on YouTube. Otherwise, I am sending you all so much love today, wishing you a beautiful weekend, and I will connect with you here again in Monday's reading.